Right now, trillions of invisible space bullets are raining down on Earth, hitting everything, everyone, every second. But what exactly are these mysterious cosmic rays, and why don't we feel them? These space bullets aren't light. They're incredibly fast atomic fragments, mostly protons, and a single one can carry the immense energy of a fast-thrown baseball. We don't feel them because Earth has two incredible protectors, our magnetic field and invisible force field, which deflects most of these high-energy particles, and our atmosphere, which acts like a bulletproof vest, breaking down the rest into harmless secondary particles, a cosmic rain we walk through daily. These powerful particles are messengers from the universe's most violent cosmic factories, exploding stars and even supermassive black holes, where they are accelerated like cosmic ping-pong balls between powerful magnetic fields. We first learned this thanks to Victor Hess, who in 1912 bravely flew balloons high above Earth, definitively proving this radiation came from space, not Earth. This groundbreaking discovery wasn't just foundational, it significantly advanced science, leading to discoveries like antimatter in 1932. However, beyond Earth's protective shield, cosmic rays pose a serious threat. For astronauts heading to Mars, they can damage DNA and vital electronics. Even on Earth, these particles can cause tiny bit flips in our phones and self-driving cars, which is why scientists are currently designing advanced, radiation-hardened electronics and new shielding techniques for future space missions. Furthermore, we use cosmic rays as clues to solve the universe's biggest puzzles, like how some ultra-high energy particles appear from seemingly empty space, defying easy tracing. This ongoing research continues to push scientific boundaries, with breakthroughs expected in the coming decades. Cosmic rays are a constant reminder of the incredible, invisible forces shaping our universe, representing the ultimate cosmic puzzle waiting to be fully solved.